Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. There's the video for this Sunday. It's March the 1st. Not often we get to do the Sunday video on the first day of the month. But um, guess what? More rain in the forecast, but a nice day ahead. Let's look outside right now. Upper air pattern across North America. A split flow pattern. The southern branch coming down uh, off California and across um, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, wandering out into the Gulf of Mexico. The northern branch uh, breaks off and goes up through the northern plains up into the Great Lakes region and dives into a deep trough over the eastern coast of the United States before it reunites with the southern branch there near Bermuda. The split flow pattern not as um, fast uh, progressively as um, we would really like and that means the uh, chance of uh, some more heavy rain across central Alabama. Surface map this morning high pressure near Asheville, North Carolina. Our flow is turning to the southerly direction. That means uh, warmer and more moist air moving into Alabama. Have a beautiful day today. Um, this is uh, early tomorrow morning, but until then, we're going to see uh, partly cloudy skies through the day today. High temperatures topping out middle and upper 60s, uh, be lower 60s over northeast Alabama. We'll be flirting with 70 degrees in places like Demopolis and Montgomery. Overnight lows tonight will be upper 40s, lower 50s, and the rain will move in sometime after midnight, uh, coming in from the uh, uh, from the west and southwest as moisture increases ahead of that approaching trough. Uh, we'll see uh, rain showers moving into the picture. Rain probably likely by Monday morning. This is a uh, 6 a.m. Monday morning showing a, a nice batch of rain moving across Alabama according to the GFS. That uh, does sound reasonable to me. It's in fairly good consensus with the uh, other models, including the mesoscale models. This is Monday afternoon. Look at that. Uh, fairly decent instability across the area, surface-based. Um, looks like we'll probably deal with some embedded thunder here in Alabama. Could be some stronger storms to our west. Wouldn't be shocked if one or two of those wander into west Alabama, but we'll be keeping a close eye on that. The SPC has been out looking areas uh, over the Arkla mix miss um, for uh, a marginal risk of severe weather on Monday and uh, a little better risk on Tuesday, but we'll be watching that as it goes. Now, Monday evening, more waves of rain. Uh, moving across Alabama, hints of a surface low there in northeastern Arkansas. Uh, perhaps the cold front uh, just to our northwest there, places like Jackson, Tennessee, back uh, to southeast of Little Rock. Uh, those waves of rain continue through Monday night into Tuesday morning. And uh, as you can imagine, we're going to be beginning to pile up some rainfall amounts by that point. Uh, but this is, you know, according to the GFS, another wave Tuesday morning. Uh, looks like Tuesday will be a rainy day with more embedded thunder. Um, and perhaps as that front uh, edges on closer Tuesday evening, uh, we could see the stronger storms to the west. Just not much instability over Alabama, though. Just more rain. Uh, but as we get toward midnight Tuesday night, uh, some instability begins to increase. Uh, southern Mississippi, southwestern Alabama, uh, areas south of I-20. I wouldn't be surprised to see a strong storm late Tuesday night. So we'll be watching that and of course uh, any convective rain that falls is going to be even heavier and the precipitable water value is going to be really high in the one half, one and one half to two inch range uh, and that sets the stage for heavy rainfall and possibility of flooding. I won't be shocked at all if we see uh, flash flood watches um, uh, coming into effect starting on Monday. Uh, probably see those issued later today. Um, and probably continuing probably at least through Wednesday. This is Wednesday noon. The front is into the I-20 corridor. Uh, temperatures remain in the 50s to the north of I-20 on Wednesday, uh, 60s to the south, but more heavy rain continuing uh, uh, in these areas from Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston Point south. Uh, the rain continues to fall. Um, probably a good chance thunderstorms in there somewhere. Um, as well as the front arrives. And could there be some strong storms in that? Maybe. I kind of doubt that we'll deal with very much in the way of that, but you won't be surprised if areas to the south of uh, Birmingham, uh, Demopolis, Alex City, Clanton maybe, 
on the South Sea. Strong thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon and evening. Now, the GFS thinks the system does get a little more progressive and moves on out of here. High pressure starts building in. European and previous runs have all indicated that um, another surface low may form over Texas. Move to the east as it does ripple along that stationary front. That could mean that the rain uh, gets prolonged into Wednesday night and even part of Thursday, uh, adding another one or two inches of rain to the total. The GFS doesn't think that. The European does. We'll see um, where those models begin to agree as we go through time. Now, this GFS depiction of rainfall through Thursday morning, remembering that the GFS ends the rain um, Wednesday night and still spits out uh, really four to four and a half to five and a half inches of rain across a, a broad belt of central Alabama there, uh, you know, from Pickens and Sumter, Greene County, through Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, Shelby, on to the east, uh, lesser amounts to the north and lesser amounts to the south, but looks like that sweet spot would be right in that I-20 corridor. Of course, this is going to be sufficient to cause flooding uh, again, uh, and not something we want to hear. Our rainfall totals are pretty amazing. Nine inches at Birmingham over the last 30 days. I think that's right. I think it's 13 inches, I think, uh, over the last 30 days. Um, 26 inches, maybe, over the last 90. Um, those numbers are a good 10, 12 inches above normal. Um, check the blog. I'll have more details on that. Uh, noon Friday, though, I think we're out of the woods. High pressure builds in. Same for Saturday and Sunday. Probably into that following Monday, we'll need the chance to dry out. Next rain chance comes Tuesday the 10th uh, as a, another ill-defined system swings through here. That doesn't look uh, very strong either from a rainfall or a severe weather standpoint. Um, then we get another little chance to dry out for four or five days. But uh, this system gets my attention. Uh, surface low, central Missouri, cold front back along the Mississippi River at noon on the 16th. That's a Monday. That has a bit of a severe weather look. Uh, way early to tell. We'll have lots of chances to check it out as we go through time. Now, the good news is temperature's going to be milder. Uh, we'll be in the 60s uh, today, Monday, Tuesday. Areas uh, south of I-20 in the 60s on Wednesday, but back into the 50s to the north of that front. But we'll be quickly back into the 60s for the rest of the week. And then looking at uh, second week out there, the 12th, 13th, 14th, uh, well, really 11th, 12th, and 13th, we'll see some 70s. And that tells us we're getting deeper into March. That's your weather video for this Monday or Sunday, March the 1st. Uh, I'll have notes on the blog, a complete update of the forecast at noon today, and um, a look back at um, a terrible tornado that happened on this day back in 2007. But until next Sunday when I get to do this weather video with you again, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.